YouTube channel. The Ukrainian Air Force destroyed the Russian artillery with the TB-2 Bayraktar unmanned aerial vehicle. The Russian army continues to suffer heavy losses in Ukraine. Finally, the Russian Howitzer Artillery Brigade, deployed near the Kherson region, was destroyed by fire from the TB-2 unmanned aerial vehicle. After the attack, it was seen that the Russian artillery units in the region fled. The armored vehicles hit consisted of eight 122 MD-30 howitzers, including the long-range MSTA-S, B and Hyacinth motorized howitzers. Unmanned aerial vehicles are the most effective weapon of the Ukrainian army in the region where the violence of the conflicts has increased. The Ukrainian Air Force continues to inflict heavy losses on the Russian army with TB-2s. The Russian army has not been able to take any action against unmanned aerial vehicles so far. TB-2s are very effective against Russian battleships. The ammunition it carries has very high damage power. One of the most important advantages is that they can move quickly and are small in size. As the Russia-Ukraine war is approaching its second month, last-minute statements came from Russia. He had recently reported that the war had entered the second phase and that Donbass was besieged. Russian forces tried to break through the defensive line on almost the entire front, while Ukrainian officials described the situation as the second phase of the war. In today's breaking news, in the information given by Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shigu to Putin, he stated that they captured Mariupol. In his statement at the Kremlin, Putin said, we must think about protecting the life and health of our soldiers and officers. Do not even fly a bird by completely blockading the region.